spends his childhood days racing carts under the guidance of his father, Anthony, Lewis Hamilton has always favoured the yellow helmet. Together, the young Briton and his father added the blue, green and red ribbon effect. Since then, other changes have been gradually introduced during Hamilton's rise to the top. I sit down at the end of the year and I have a look at my helmet and uh, for sure there's always things you can improve on. I think it's important that you keep moving. Although Hamilton is the first Formula One driver to finish his first three races on the podium, his success has not gone to his head, so to speak. He remains with the same helmet design company that he used since childhood, under head designer Jason Fowler, who knew a good driver when he saw one. We've been painting Lewis's helmets for about eight years now. Uh, it started when he was uh, racing karts. He was just starting to hit the big time and winning races and he approached us to paint his helmets and we were more than happy because we could see he was a driver that was going to go far. His original design was done by his father who wanted something to stand out on the track. Uh, so when he came to us he just wanted us to put some input into it and just make it more up to date, a bit more, a bit more colourful, a bit more 3D. Whilst remaining loyal to Fowler and that distinctive yellow, Hamilton is always thinking of slight changes and looking to the future. I always want to keep the same design. Um, I think it's important because everyone notices, notices me from it. And I think the helmet looks uh, better than it's ever looked before and uh, I'm sure next year there'll be something new and it's always a challenge to try and find something, a new design, but um, I'll find it's no problem. Before Hamilton's record-breaking F1 career took off, helmet designer Fowler was confident that the racer would keep getting better. It's a very competitive business doing this. There's a, I know there's a lot of painters that would love to be painted Lewis's helmets. So it's only a matter of time before Lewis does get his first win, and it's going to be great. It's going to be the culmination of eight years' work between us, so seeing our helmet on the podium on the top steps is going to be the ultimate, really. The design may be basically the same, but when the 2007 Monte Carlo Grand Prix was getting underway, Hamilton's helmet took on a new sparkle. At a presentation organised by Diamond Company and McLaren team sponsor Steinmetz, on one of the larger floating palaces, a yacht moored in the Mediterranean Principality's exclusive harbour, Lewis Hamilton had a taste of Monaco's millionaire lifestyle when he was handed a diamond-studded helmet to wear in the coming Grand Prix. Hamilton and double world champion teammate Fernando Alonso were to wear the helmets with Monaco 07 written in white diamonds on the side. The helmets were then to be auctioned for charities chosen by the drivers. Both drivers flanked a model wearing the Pona Halo, a necklace made up of at least $50 million worth of stones cut from one 316 carat rough diamond. The largest to come out of the De Beers Venetia mine in South Africa. The necklace, paraded under the watchful gaze of security guards, was shown to some of the world's wealthiest individuals over the Grand Prix weekend before being sold to the highest bidder, assuming the unspecified reserve price was reached. Both McLaren drivers were also given $10,000 rings, each one with a tired tread motif in diamonds, to keep. The gathered reporters were wondering if this meant that Hamilton was now a diamond expert. So does this mean you're officially a diamond geezer? No, it means I'm blinged out. That's what it is. I've got bling on my helmet. How cool is that? And they just gave me a ring, so I've got a blinged out finger. And, and it actually spins as well. 